Hi everyone, this is Diabolic once again from Dexcon 10 here in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Yep, I'm still in New Jersey. I'm here with Jeff, who does Wicked Fair. He's got the shirt on and everything. Um, the, also, action, the underwear. I have the underwear on as well. Well, I didn't know that. And you really needed to. <laughs> Did I? Really? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Jeff is here at Dexcon, and I'm going to ask him why he's here at Dexcon because I forgot to ask when we were chatting the time. So, Jeff, why are you here at Dexcon? I'm here at Dexcon because it's a wonderful, great event, and because I'm an insane promoter. And um, in the two to three months before my event, I spend 18, 20 hours a day doing nothing but promoting and preparing for the event. Now, do you game? I do, in fact, game. Okay, what do you play? Paranoia, when possible. Paranoia is one of my favorite games. I actually got a chance to meet Greg Kostakian, the creator of Paranoia, at uh, DragonCon 2000. He's brilliant and intense and neurotic. It was really cool. Paranoia is one of my favorite games. I also play Macho Women with Guns uh, from the Blackbird Tactical Research Center. Great, great game. Any game where you can have Top Heavy as an attribute is really a game that you can tell is quality. And also the skill hit things with other things. Okay, that's a good skill. So it's you could hit things with you. You could hit things with me. And depending on what things you were hitting, I might not mind. Okay. Um, since you're here promoting Wicked Fair, what, why don't you tell everyone about Wicked Fair? Wicked Fair and Wicked Events in general are basically what I like to consider Cuisinart events. There are a couple of events out there that will mix a lot of different interests, but most of the time they mix them in such a way that they put gaming over here and science fiction here and music over here and gothic stuff here, fetish stuff here, pagan stuff here, this, this. What we do is we take everything and we mix it all together. As in, as it were, please not. And what you come up with is, you know, the sort of thing you usually get when you mix a whole bunch of things together in a police heart, which is no I mean, evidence the police can track down. Uh, well, all right, yeah. But you also get a mess. You that's Jamie. I, I, don't I had to I, teach Jamie how to please. I don't think I want to have Jamie back in failed cooking experiments. Mm -hmm. Actually, he was the chef at some place for some reason. I forget why we did that. But. That's terrifying. Yes. Um, what type of genres? I know you just ran them down, but your favorite genres from Wake Wait Fair? That's a good question. Um, honestly, what I really like more than any individual genre is to see stuff getting mixed up. Like, there are very few events where you can go and see, say, psychobilly punks dancing to Renaissance Fair music and see a bunch of, say, anime people going and talking to someone who make swords at a blacksmith's forge, or you just get these odd juxtapositions of a little bit of everything, you know? You have panels where you'll have, say, a wrestler talking to um, a, a religious pirate. scholar talking to a pirate, exactly. I heard all about pirates, so. Yes. Um, when is Rick Wicked Fair or the Wicked... Uh, Labyrinth. Good question. Yeah. Wicked Fair, we do two big events a year. The Wicked Fair is February 8th and 9th this year, and the Wicked Labyrinth is coming up September 28th and 29th. Um, and those are both in Edison, New Jersey, not far from where we are now, at the Holiday Inn and Conference Center. Um, we've been doing our events in the Raritan Center for a while, and we've moved into a bigger space. We were at the uh, New Jersey Convention Expo Center, very nice place, but very cavernous, um, complex place to work with. And now we've moved into a bigger space at a hotel, which is much warmer and friendlier, and all the sleeping rooms are attached, so you can okay. stay at the event and go sleep. Sorry, I'm talking to you. No, no, no. I actually didn't know that. Oh, I see. knew you guys had done the Raritan Center, because I've been there for other stuff. Huh? I didn't know you guys had moved. So. See? See, I missed last year's, or this year's. And this is why you shouldn't miss the event, folks. Because then you become like a But some people might want to do that. But, besides that, um, I forgot the question I was going to ask you. Dad, look, have you ever considered getting pierced? Yes. I wouldn't. I don't think that, you know, actually get it. Not, not at all. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I totally drew a blank here. How often do I do this? Well, all the time. Yet, never on camera when I'm live. Oh, where can we find information about Wicked Fair? What a great question to ask. www.wickedfair.com. F A I R E. That's wickedfair.com. Wicked Fair. Well, totally. We're, actually, even while I'm doing that, we're going to put a whole little banner down at the bottom. So I'm just pointing to the banner now. 
That's yes. hot. So it's gonna be like a banner on my crotches. No, 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 no. We're fine. Oh. You got me excited for that. Guy. Sorry. Anything else you want to talk about? I just love your hair. Oh. You know? No. Um, it's sort of like embracing a retro culture. Okay. Um, you know, back when I actually used to hang out with punk rock folks back in the 80s, I never knew anyone who actually had a mobile, mm -hmm. always from the movies. There may have been a lot of real punks out there who had mobiles, but I never met any of them. And now you see Mohawks where you least expect them. Mm -hmm. And even though we know what a Mohawk is, you know, Mr. T Man is very familiar with it, Mohawk is still always very startling. Mm -hmm. And I like that about it. Um, I myself have an invisible Mohawk, mm -hmm. but I cover it with um, a wig. Ah. So that, you know, I, I appear normal. Why? Um, Why be normal? You run Wicked Fair. You found me out! It's true! No, no, you came to us. Oh, that's right. I, yeah. I came to you. I, I, I came out to you. Um, <laughs> and that's exactly the point of Wicked Fair. The point of Wicked Fair is to throw together tons of stuff and basically people who don't want to be normal will enjoy this event. And people who really like to be normal should probably go to a different event. And flee and quickly. Flee quickly. Yes. Jeff, thank you very much for your time. That and hopefully you. I will be making it to Wicked Fair or the Labyrinth, you said? Um, Labyrinth. I'll be going to the website since I forgot. Wickedfair.com, F-A-I-R-E. Would you like to be on a panel at Lava? I could be. That would be very cool. What would we talk about? Well, let's discuss that off camera. Okay. You know. Well, thank you, everyone, and we'll be back with more interviews from Dexcon 10. Hi, Mom. Ha, 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 ha.